everyone and welcome to our channel. On this video, we'll explore Singapore and the attractions we visited. So, let's go! Singapore is now an independent and multicultured country located in Asia off the southern tip of the Malay Peninsula with a land area of 281 square miles. In this 3D map, a popular location of Singapore is the Merlion Park, the Marina Bay, and the Marina Bay Sands Hotel. To get around the city, you can use a taxi, a bus, Uber or Grab, and or the popular transit. We prefer transit as it is easy, more convenient, with a wide network of transfers around the city. Our first stop is the Merlion Park. People come here for picture taking in any angles. We come here to take pictures as well with the Merlion, the Bay Area, and the famous Marina Bay Sands Hotel. A famous icon here is the Merlion, the official mascot of Singapore, depicted as a mythical creature with the head of a lion and the body of a fish. In the evening, this place looks spectacular. You'll see boat cruising along the Bay Area, people all over, and of course, you can just relax and enjoy the view. You might also have a camera or your smartphone ready, as the light show spectra from the Marina Bay Sands Hotel comes to light every night at 8 p.m. and 9.30 p.m. You can view this event from this vantage point or you can be in the hotel's event plaza and watch the water show up close like this one. This is Gardens by the Bay, one of the most amazing botanical gardens in the world. The place features the flower dome, cloud forest, several small gardens, and then the one you see here is the super tree grove. The super trees are alive and breeding sculptures rising above the gardens. For epic views, head up to the top of these super trees and stroll along the 22 meter high aerial walkway known as the Skyway to experience the Marina Bay area from a bird's eye view. To get here, you get off at the Bayfront MRT station, take exit B, then follow the underground linkway, then you just exit and cross the Dragonfly Bridge heading towards the gardens. There are plenty of signs so you won't really miss this uh, area. At night, these super trees are spectacular, the light changes often from green to blue and so on. You know, we, we, we enjoy our stay here and this is one in our bucket list places to visit. The 
The next stop is the Flower Dome, which is considered one of the biggest greenhouses in the world, as listed in the 2015 Guinness World Records. Here you'll see different varieties of plants and small trees. And when we visited this place, luckily they have a tulip festival. And we enjoyed the variety of tulips displayed here and the different arrangements that they have. So it was amazing. We were delighted to see the different varieties, including some of the props they put here, like this uh, head of the lady that seems sleepy. Cloud Forest is a 35 meter tall mountain covered in less vegetation with a breathtaking indoor waterfall. You can walk along the passageways all the way to the top and enjoy the views and biodiverse vegetation you'll see around. This place is huge and some days it can be crowded but um, we enjoyed our stay here as we were pleased to see the different varieties of plants, trees and just amazed with the way this whole dome is designed. Um, it's such a wonderful place to be and just enjoy the day. Sentosa is an island resort off Singapore's southern coast. You can get here by car, bus, monorail, cable car, and on foot. To maximize good views of the area, we recommend you take the cable car or monorail. To enter the island, it's free. Sentosa has a number of beaches including Siloso, Palawan, and Tanjung Beach which is located on the southern side of the island. Locals and tourists love this place as they can simply relax at the beach, play volleyball, swim, and do zip lining. There are hotels and other major attractions found in Resorts World Sentosa, including Universal Studios, Adventure Cove Water Park and the Sea Aquarium. There are also smaller attractions such as the Drag VR and the Trick Eye Museum.
Aji Lane is in the Kampong Glam neighborhood of Singapore and a short walk from the Bugis MRT. People go here to take pictures and shop along this lane for the independent stores and cafe such as the Pizza Fabrica, Good Luck Beer House, and Monaco. This lane is colorful and there are murals here too that we love. Little India is a colorful and vibrant neighborhood with small shops and restaurants. See something. Yeah. See something. We're looking for food. <laughs> We're looking for food. We're looking for an authentic one. Okay. The Sri Mariaman Temple is Singapore's oldest Hindu temple. Lao Pasat is a food market or hawker center offering a variety of international cuisines. Here we try the shrimp skewer and a popular sambal, which is a stingray meat. At 7 p.m., they close uh, Satay Street, put down tables and chairs for diners. This is really a cool place to hang out. Show them. So, what do you have, Han? 
What do you have? Minchong durian. Part here where we're looking for a ocean wildlife. What arrived at the six so we have to set up for this one. Anyway. That's okay. Come it's and join. Still, it's still durian. This is the time of our life. This life.
Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and make a comment below. Also, I'll include the links and some facts about the places we visited here in Singapore on the description below. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. That way you'll get notified of our upcoming videos. Thanks again.